Today in our 2014 Nissan Versa, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Jetstream crossbar roof rack system. It uses the baseline towers. This is going to allow you to carry roof mount accessories on your Versa, things like bike racks, kayak carriers, cargo boxes, and more. You'll notice how these bars are aerodynamic. These are going to be a lot quieter than your traditional round or square bars. Now they're going to work with your standard clamp-on accessories. They'll also work with T-slot accessories. You'll simply remove that end cap, and instead of having to remove the rubber strip or cut or trim it around our accessories, that T-bolt just slides right over the top to your desired position, and it gives you a nice clean look. Now the crossbars are held in place by the four baseline towers. These are padded so they don't harm or scratch the roof of our Versa. What's unique about these is that underneath the cover here, we'll take one off, it hides our hardware. This is gonna protect it from the elements, help deter theft, and all in all prevent anyone from removing our roof rack system from our Versa. Now, the covers, you can see this little spot here. This is if we wanna add a locking core. This is gonna add more security to our roof rack system. So if that's something you'd like to upgrade to, check out eTrailer.com and you can find the locking cores for that. Go ahead and put that back in place. Then onto the hooks here. These are specifically designed to work with our Versa. You can see how they kind of match the contours of our roof here, and then they hook on the inside of our door frame. These two are also rubber coated, that way they don't harm or scratch that finish, should you want to take the whole system off one day. Once everything's in place, you can give it a good shake there. You can see I'm shaking the whole Versa. You can rest assured that your accessories and your roof rack system are going to remain in place. Now this roof rack system has a weight capacity of 165 pounds. You do, however, want to check with the Versa's owner's manual to see if it can support that much weight. Now I'll give you some dimensions. These could be helpful for when pulling in your garage or mounting accessories. It'll basically just give you an idea of how much you've added to the roof of your Versa. From the top of the roof to the underside of the bar is about three and a half inches. From the top of the roof to the top of the bar is about four and three quarters of an inch. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. I've already got the front crossbar installed on my Versa. Per our instructions, we measure up from the corner of the windshield on each side to the beginning portion of the pad. It gives us our placement, and then we tighten everything down. Now the rear crossbar installs very similar. Let's go ahead and do it together. I've got one side done and ready to go. We just need to repeat the same process on the opposite side. We'll start by grabbing our baseline tower first, and we're gonna push in place our jet stream adapter right on top. We're gonna be listening for two clicks, just like that. Then we can take the metal nut, put that over top, and start tightening that down underneath with the included tool. We don't wanna tighten it all the way down just yet. We'll give it a couple turns. We just wanna make sure that it's loosely installed. From here, we can install our pad. It only goes on one way, just push it in place. Make sure it's good and sealed up, surrounding the whole thing. And then we can take our tower and install it on there. Now the side with the notch in it here is gonna face away from our tower. So it's gonna go on in this direction. Push it until it snaps into place and so that we can freely move it like this. Now we can take the whole tower and slide it on to our jet stream crossbar. Now when we slide it on, we need this to go into the channel here. So I've turned over my jet stream crossbar. I'll line it up and then push it in place. Now there's a little scale right here on the underside of our crossbar. It's gonna be kind of hard for you to see, but per our instructions, we need to set the front portion of our baseline tower here to 30 and a half inches. So we'll scoot it up. until it's set, and then we can set our pitch and toe. Now per our instructions, our pitch needs to be set to C and our toe needs to be set to two. Now they're not labeled. The way you figure it out is, on our jet stream crossbar, there's an arrow. Ours is facing forward. So everything forward is one or it's A. So our pitch needs to be set to C. So that would be A, B, and C. So I'm just going to push 
You can see how it freely moves here. I'm just going to push it all the way over until it lines up with that line there and then tighten it down. Listen for those two clicks. And then our toe gets adjusted with our pad. And since it needs to be set to two, we can leave it in the center. And we can tighten it down. Now we can put on our end cap, and then we're ready to set it in place on our Versa. Now when we set it in place, we wanna be sure that the round portion of the bar is facing forward. And I'm gonna set this in the general area. Now per our instructions, we need to be 28 inches from the front of our front crossbar to the front of our rear crossbar. So let me grab my tape measure here really quick. And we need to do this on both sides. Now we can install our base clips. Now these are different from the front, so we need to be sure that we have the correct ones. So per our instructions, we need to be sure that we are working with B73 on each side. These are for the rear. We're gonna open up our little door here. And we're gonna slide the clip underneath until it connects to the hook underneath this piece here. Give it a good pull, make sure it doesn't come out, and that's how we know we've got it connected correctly. Now we can start tightening down our bolt inside here. And by doing this, it's gonna help draw that base clip in and make it tight to our Versa. Now we wanna alternate sides, so we'll do a couple turns here and then a couple turns on the other side. And again, we're looking for those two clicks. That's how we know we've got it properly torqued down. With everything tightened down, we can go ahead and close our rear passenger doors. And we also wanna close up the doors on our baseline tower. So we've got this one here that we had opened up earlier and this one here if it's not already closed. Last thing to do is to put on our covers. Now with these, it can be kind of tricky, especially since the clip is angled so far on our Versa. We'll get it lined up and then you can just press it in place and it should snap right in. Make sure it's nice and solid and sealed on both sides and you're all set. With the installation done, we're ready to load up our favorite Yakima roof mounted accessory and hit the road. But with that being said, that's gonna complete our test fit of the Yakima Jetstream crossbar roof rack system on our 2014 Nissan Versa.